Welcome to another video of reporting in Business Central AL programming and this is just an addition to the series but it focuses on the word layout reports. So how can we be able to create a nested data item in a word layout report? I know we earlier on created, okay in the series it's long, but we created a report, a list report in uh, RDL, we also created a word report in uh, in a format that can be repeating where we can list all the items from one to the other. So the aim of today's video is to nest one more than one data item using a word report because we did that using a, an RDL sale report. So this is like grouping in a word Report. So let's see how to do it. So I've defined, to avoid us repeating the same same things over and over again, I have defined a report. I gave it the bank word layout, uh, something because who doesn't love money? So that's why I love using bank accounts because they have money there. So we have the bank account data item and then the bank account ledger entry that is nested. So ideally, okay, when we nest, we link the two. So the data item link for this bank account number is bank account number is field number or something like that. And then we do have all these. Then we come to the layout and this is our layout file. I will build the package once i have built the package i'll go straight to the generated layout how you build is control shift b for those who are new to this series you go to the layout created open externally in your file settings for your word report word your microsoft word you should have a developer pin if not add it in the file options options here you can have a checkbox there for developer pen that you should be able to add and it is somewhere where i did it long time ago general it will be let me see advanced i think it should be in display Come on, customize ribbon. Yeah, definitely. So in the customize ribbon, you add, you check mark the developer pen if it's not getting displayed in your word report. So you go to the file options and then you uh, display it. So by default, it's not displayed. So you, you can display because you're a developer and you need to do something with it. So what you need to do when you go to the developer tab here on the top is to click on the XML mapping pen. And once we do that, we need to basically use a table. So let's insert a table. And we need uh, at least three by two because this will be the header and this will be the detail. And ideally, in our detail, we need to select our row, the full row. Get selected, man. Okay, we select it. Change here in our custom part. Look at this URN, Microsoft Dynamics Nav Report, Bank Report, and the number that you have used. So it's giving us the specific report layout because it's mapped. Remember when we build and we render, this is the layout that has been generated. When it's generated in the XML mapping pen, we have this option to have this report. So what you need to do, we insert the repeating control to make sure that this is part of the repeating and uh, we can have the bank number and name as part of the repeating control, plain text everything, and then the balance also as part of the repeating control. So once we do that, we can now insert a column uh, to the right. And then once we insert a column to the right, we can also now insert a table to display the bank account ledger entry. So we can choose to have our table to, to be having details or not, or uh, headers and uh, detail in this way, like um, I mean header and the detail. And this table, we can still do the same in terms of inserting the repeating control. So we come back here to this table, insert the repeating control for 
now the bank account ledger entry detail and then we can have the posting data as a plain text then in the next cell okay is it is it the amount and then the description or the description then the amount so plain text and then we can have the amount also as a plain text here then we can say that this is the detail this is the um, bank number bank number then the bank name and then the bank balance then we can sort of expand this a little bit just expand it i don't know it's displaying or the bank account ledger entry not well formatted guys but let's work with this not as well formatted as i'd wanted it want it to be then yeah you can play with the formatting images and all that and yeah okay why is it all bold this shouldn't be bold but we'll rectify posting date description and the amount so let's come back here and bold this how do you call on bold just click on bold and then The rest can remain bold, doesn't harm. So we have our nested table. And let's quickly build and run. So we are trying to see this is a sandbox and it doesn't have a lot of data in terms of postings for the bank. I think I have only one bank detail. And the other thing is you can add the print only if detail to true. So if we add this and we rebuild again, this means that uh, we can only print the header if the detail or the the nested data item has value so to avoid printing uh, a bank without any bank account ledger entry we can add that print if did pre print <laughs> print uh, only if detail to true or false but yeah let's just preview the way it is and uh, there we are it's opening it's opening yeah there we are and we have the of course we are not only printing we are printing everything the b we have this bank and the checking and the savings let's just add two entries in the savings bank and see what it will do to it uh, versus the other gel the payment journal journal then uh the payment for us then we say that it's to the bank which bank it is it it's maybe the savings and then we give it uh, an amount of like let's say just a random amount without any description for five us for us again then we just give it another the same which one was it didn't have is it the checking or savings okay let's just add the two will mean that one of it will have and then we can just give a random amount then we can say that this is uh, our posting our posting whichever and then have a gl to to balance the two stuff and then what which gl can i use one 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 Whichever GL, the accountants bear with me here. Yeah, it is just testing, nothing serious. Don't start saying, oh, this should have gone to this account or to that account. I don't know why it's taking too much time to load the GL. Let's get it there. Come on, I'll go back to a vendor now. Working on it again. All right. There's an error. Direct posting should be true. Okay, no. Direct posting should be true. So let's take the next one that has direct posting increases during the year. Okay, so that's okay. So the balance will be 234 plus 4 
eight uh, three and it will be a negative so uh let's do this quick posting and see post we want to post yes we do want to post them then we can go to the report layouts and see the word it should be 51 or 2 and then we run the report this is the report we run it and then see so we have i think we expect two postings for each and there we are so the checking bank has this posting date and this and this and this one has this and this and this. So if we say print only if detail, this bank will be eliminated. So you can test that, add print only if, it, if detail, then you won't have this bank display and it will make your, your report more, more user friendly. The other thing that we can do here is for this other, we can remove the, uh, how is it called, the footers or these borderlines and remain only with the header. It will display better because we'll just have the bank and then these uh, columns were very well formatted. So the formatting can be done. We don't want to do it here. I know you guys are smart and you can be able to do the formatting on your own. That's it for this video on nesting uh, data item in a word layout report. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.